Hi, I'm Steve. And today we're gonna to talk about your digital transformation to a hybrid cloud operating model. And what I'm gonna to talk to you about is five key characteristics that you can use to measure yourself against your digital journey. So, the first mark in a hybrid cloud operating model that you have to consider when you're going through this journey is goals over technology. A lot of times what ends up happening is, is that we focus on the technology that we want to choose and then we try to wrap those goals around it. And when you're really trying to transition to a hybrid cloud operating model, you have to really put what is my end state actually going to look like versus how is the technology going to influence that. So you're really looking to say, these are the marks that I want to hit or the milestones. This is what I want my applications or my deployment model to look like. And then after that, I actually want to then say what technology is actually going to support the initiatives that I'm trying to, to achieve. The second is that I want to move to a highly immutable state. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to be 100% immutable. But as containerization starts to take over more and more, this natural progression of moving to a more immutable state just becomes a more natural reaction. And so you actually want to start transitioning towards that idea of immutability at a much uh, higher rate. So as containerization has come into play, it's actually started a natural progression of looking at moving towards a higher immutable state. Now, that doesn't mean that all of your systems are going to end up being 100% immutable, but you want to start transitioning to this point where you're distilling all of your common components out so that you can have a repeatable way of deploying. Uh, gone is the days of these long running systems and patching and configuring over a long period of time. What you really want to get to a state is, is that when I want to change the application or I want to change something about my infrastructure, the natural habit is to destroy that infrastructure and rebuild it with the new version. The third mark of a hybrid cloud operating model is security built in. Traditionally, in deployment pipelines or deployment processes, security is usually a check mark along the way. So you spend a lot of time developing, you spend a lot of time working on these applications or this infrastructure, and then you have to come to a point where there's a security check where they have to go over and comb everything about that deployment or about those applications and really start to distill out and say, have you passed our security checks or not? In a hybrid cloud operating model, at the speed and the rate of which you want to deploy, and this idea of continuous integration and continuous deployment, that really starts to slow down your ability uh, to deploy at a high rate of speed. And that slows down your developers, that slows down your infrastructure folks. And so what you actually want to do is, is that you want to actually bake security into that pipeline or into that process. And so in doing so, you can actually accelerate while still maintaining a high level of security. The fourth mark of a hybrid cloud operating model is that you want to actually have configuration on demand. Traditionally in systems, how we've looked at this is that we've built a, we've built a VM or we've built some type of application and then we push configuration out and then maintain it over a long period of time. Now, the question I would ask you is that what's the difference between a production web server and a development web server? It's roughly about 17K. It's the configuration file that dictates whether or not that server is a production server or it's a development server, or in some cases it might be a database between a web server. And so what you actually wanna do is, is you want to have a point where I can pull that configuration from a centralized source and then be able to push it out federated across multiple different systems at the same time. This allows me to actually push configuration out on demand and my applications can consume that and then behavior can actually be dictated or modified on the fly. Now the fifth mark of a hybrid cloud operating model is that I'm gonna have change management baked in. Typically when you think about change management, you think about heavy ITIL processes and you think about having a lot of uh, tickets or service requests and those inbounds. Well, if you start to look at where you're moving towards this ability to be able to deploy at will, to be able to change those applications behavior on the fly, and you start to actually apply a lot of these other uh, marks that you have in that context, then now my change management could become a potential bottleneck. 
And so what I actually wanna be able to do is, I wanna bake this in to my process. And so you could use things like version control systems to be able to express infrastructure as code, to express security as code. And so in that context, every time that I make a change, not only am I updating to the most current version of my software, I'm also updating to the most current version of my documentation. On top of that, whenever I make those changes, now I'm actually baking in my change management. So it could become as simple as a pull request where everything is documented and I can actually look at my revisions over time and actually see the version changes. This helps in the context of auditing in the case of security. This helps in the context of uh, change management when I wanna understand how my environment has mutated over the course of several different sprints or several different experimentation within it. Now, the beauty of this whole thing is, is that you can start at any one of these. These aren't necessarily a systematic way of, of moving into a hybrid cloud operating model. These are really five characteristics that you should be looking at to say, as I progress, I should be able to see these express themselves as I actually move through. So in the context of goals, I should see that I'm hitting my milestones. I should see that the technology decisions that I've made are actually driving that home. When I look at immutability, I should be able to say how much of my infrastructure or how much of my applications do I have that are actually not necessarily being configured and changed over long periods of time, but I actually can just restart to apply that change or that update. When it comes to security, I should be able to have systems and applications that are at a high level of security with a low level of human input. When it comes to configuration, I should be able to at will change any aspect of my application, flip switches, reroute traffic, uh, uh, decrypt, encrypt, anything on the fly uh, with just a push of a button. And the last thing is, is around this change management, now my change in my documentation just become an output or an artifact of my deployment. They aren't actually uh, something that I have to do as a checkbox along the way. And so as you start to kind of move through this idea of a hybrid cloud operating model, start to measure where you are in the context of these five marks. Be honest with yourself and actually grade and say, how are we in immutability? Or can we actually change configuration on demand? Or is there a long tail process that actually uh, takes to implement this? And as you look at these, you can actually begin to see these as kind of guiding principles as you move through this journey. This is not something that is going to be an overnight success or something that you're gonna push through. This is a transformation where you're gonna start in one place and end up changed at the other side. And so use these as kind of those guiding principles. So now that you know these five marks of a hybrid cloud operating model, we'd love to help you in those first steps along this journey. Feel free to visit us at HashiCorp.com, check out our learn pages, or even go to our blogs to get tips and tricks and reach out to be able to engage with us on how we can help you move forward.